This episode of Salmonella Academy is brought to you by Skillshare. Hey kids, if you've been on Earth for any amount of time, you should know that this place is pretty wet and wild. With water just falling from the sky whenever it feels like it, it's no surprise that floods are among nature's most common means of wrecking humanity's hard work. However, not every flood has been made out of plain old H2O. Today, we're going to talk about some of the few non-water liquid disasters that mankind has endured. January 15th, 1919 was a particularly warm day for Boston, at around 40 degrees Fahrenheit, well above the freezing temperatures of the past week. Men wore their hats a little less snugly, children huddled about the fire a little less closely, and a metal tank containing 2.3 million gallons of molasses decided to collapse. Now, I know what you're thinking. Sam, I've never even held a molasses before. I didn't know there was 2.3 million gallons of it in the world. What was that much molasses doing in one place? Well, young grasshopper, as with most things, the answer is alcohol. As the cylinder came tumbling down, it unleashed a delicious brown tsunami that was 25 feet high at its peak. Also, forget everything you know about idioms, because the waves were recorded to have moved as fast as 35 miles per hour. That means you're slower than molasses. Nerd, add that to the fact that molasses is way more dense than water and you've got a recipe for some major destruction. Eyewitness accounts of the event describe houses being swept off their foundation and subsequently demolished. The level of damage was comparable to a tornado sweeping through, its path of devastation stretching a half mile long. Here's a picture of, uh, something. I can't tell what it was supposed to be, all I know is that molasses clearly does not play. That's not all though, a truck was picked up and chucked into the harbor, a train car got knocked off its tracks, and a bunch of dogs and horses just straight up drowned. Oh, and some people too. Around 150 were injured and 21 were killed in the disaster. Talk about the sweet release of death, am I right? (laughs) Ha ha! A couple of reasons these numbers were so high were that A, once you're stuck in something that thick and sticky, you're kind of fucked unless three guys with a rope happen to show up, and B, the affected area was so large that three guys with a rope would have no way to get to you without getting trapped themselves. As a result, rescuers had to wait several days before the molasses either sufficiently drained out of an area or hardened up enough in the sun and the cold so that it could be walked on without sinking in. After the incident, cleanup was carried out primarily by blasting the streets with salt water, which took many weeks and stained the water of the Boston Harbor Brown for months. Naturally, all the rescue workers and cleanup crew ended up getting molasses all over them, which led to them getting the stuff all over payphones, subway cars, door handles, you name it. It's said that for decades afterwards, residents could still catch a whiff of molasses outside during the summer months, and Boston remains one of Forbes' top 10 stickiest places to this day. Our next tale took place on the evening of June 18, 1875 in Dublin. A fire had been raging across several blocks of the city for many hours prior and like many of us do after a long hard day of wreaking havoc, the fire decided to mosey on over to the malt house for a much needed drink. Around 5,000 barrels of whiskey and other social lubricants subsequently burst from the heat, sending a cascade of what is essentially liquid fuel careening out into the street, carrying the inferno on its back wherever it went. Now normally you think people would just run away from the impending danger, but being that this is Ireland, the crowds of people had a better idea. They said, hey fellow upstanding citizens, why don't we band together and uh, help with the cleanup efforts? So they decided to dispose of the river of beverage running through their neighborhood by hiding it safely away in their stomachs. Some people drank directly from the street, while the classier among them were seen taking off their nasty sweat-filled boots, filling them up and just gulping away. Keep in mind, while today's version is flavored primarily with cinnamon, this fireball whiskey contained a special blend of spices including ash, street filth, tiny shards of glass and wood, and whatever else you could imagine. But hey, free drinks are free drinks. In the end, 13 people perished as a result of this incident. Was it from the fire? Nope. Smoke inhalation? Mm Mm-mm. Drowning? Still no. Unfortunately, though they did boot, and they did rally, they forgot to do both at once. As a result, all 13 deaths were actually from alcohol poisoning caused by chugging too much runaway liquor. So let this be a lesson, kids. Don't drink street booze. You have no idea where it's been. 
just go to a dispensary instead. Moving along, here's another potation inundation, this time on the other aisle. 1814 London was a rapidly growing metropolis, and like all metropolisiuses, it had its fair share of densely populated slums, one of which was St. Giles Rookery. And what better place is there to build a brewery than amongst the impoverished and thirsty? Unfortunately, said brewery apparently got cocky and decided to skimp out on their iron rings that hold up the big beer things budget, leading to one of the vats completely collapsing and knocking over all the others with it. In total, around 323,000 imperial gallons, or one and a half million liters of beer were unleashed that day. The flood of ale pushed over the wall of the brewery with the same ease that Jared Kushner pushes old ladies down escalators, gushing out into the streets and totally demolishing multiple homes situated nearby. Good morning, America. I'm reporter Pat Lauer. No relation, don't worry. We're here at the scene of the world's biggest party foul. Ma'am, how does this whole thing make you feel? Ha, <laughs> don't worry. This isn't the first time alcohol has torn my household apart. <laughs> In all seriousness, my husband has struck me on multiple occasions. At least eight people are known to have died as a result of the incident, either from drowning or from having their house dropped on them. In spite of this, nobody was held responsible for the disaster, with courts concluding that the collapse was an act of God. I wish people were that lenient with act of God clauses today, like, Alright, here's your coffee, ma'am. Whoops. Tss, Jesus Christ, it burns! Yes. That was Jesus Christ who did that. You motherfucker, my legs are fusing together! Hey, eh? God works in mysterious ways. Maybe you were supposed to be a mermaid, who knows? So, I hope the knowledge of these events will serve to empower you in your life going forward. If you find one of your friends trapped in molasses, now you'll say, Don't worry, I'll save you in a couple days. If your street is ever flooded with hard liquor, you'll say, Oh boy, time to start chugging. In moderation, of course. But why stop there when you can learn a lifetime of practical wisdom with Skillshare.com? Skillshare is an online learning community with over 22,000 classes in technology, design, business, and more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high-quality classes on must-know topics so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. Sure, history can write some pretty insane stories, but hey, so can you. With these courses, you can make the next great American novel or breathe new life into your erotic Sanjay and Craig fanfiction. You ever doodle in the margins of your notebook during class? I know I do. What better way to spice up your notes than with some classy botanical line drawings? No more Celtic knots made out of dicks for me, that's for sure. Join the millions of students already learning on Skillshare today with a special offer just for my viewers where you can get two months of Skillshare for free. To sign up, go to skl.sh slash sam03. Again, listen. Go to skl.sh slash sam03 to get two months of unlimited access to over 22,000 classes for free. Act now for this special offer and start learning today. Till next time, I'm Sam Manella and thank you for watching.